If I was Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, this is what I would say these days to the Obama and Kerry administration. Dear friends and allies, or are you really? Because in my world, friends do not make deals or business with countries or organizations that declare openly and bluntly that their goal is to eliminate me, to destroy me. If I, as an Israeli Jew, decide that my state capital is in Jerusalem, I expect you as my friend to respect that and not to place your embassy in Tel Aviv. If any American can visit the Holy Land without needing a special visa, we expect you as our friends to do the same for every Israeli that wants to visit the United States. But most of all, at times like this, we expect our friends to stand firmly behind us. No ifs or buts. Israel is facing deadly terror on a daily basis. Cars are being stoned. Civilians are stabbed, shot, and run over by vehicles in the street. Terror tunnels, bombs, missiles, and endless poisonous fanatic Muslim propaganda teaching kids as young as three years old the Jews must be killed. We are doing our best to fight it, but you are sabotaging our efforts by comparing us, a democratic, life-seeking society, to these blood-hungry animals, calling us to restrain ourselves. Would you? Do you? I beg to differ. For many years, we played along with your games, deals, demands, interests, and your very naive and stupid politically correct agenda. And look where it brought us. You have no understanding of the Middle East, none whatsoever. Because if you did, it wouldn't all be burning in flames like it is now. So do yourself and us a big, big favor. Stop preaching to us. Stop patronizing us and stop interfering. You keep on saying, that Israel has the right to defend itself and its existence. Wow. Gee, thanks. Well, I think Israel has the right not to be attacked in the first place. And this is exactly what we shall work on, as in from now, according to our way and understanding. There will be no more talks to terrorists, no negotiations, and no two-state solution. Not now, not ever. We gave it a 20-year chance. Enough is enough. And we shall deal with the terror the only way terror understands. We will crush it and defeat it. So, if you are true friends and allies, you will respect our wish and back off. But if you want to keep imposing your own way by threatening us that your support is not automatic or unconditional, Here's the news. Neither is our loyalty or support. There's Russia, China, India. Think about it. We're out to fight terror now. We'll talk to you later when mission is accomplished.